Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been a long time since I have met any videos on Pi Network. During this time, a lot of development have taken place in Pi Network. In today's video, I will try to cover some of the development that have taken place during this period. The first topic we will be taking up is what is hubbing and how will it affect the Pi miners. This is the first topic that we are going to discuss in today's video. The second topic is what is KYC? When will we be KYC? This is the second topic. The third topic will be why should we do the KYC? Is it that necessary or not? After going through this video, we will know. And the fourth topic is what is the value of pi right now? And uh, how will we use pi this is the fourth topic that we'll be covering in this video and the last but not the least how to mine pi and how to register in pi this is for those new person who wants to mine pi so these are the topic that we are going to discuss in this video today and it's going to be a somewhat long video sorry for that and uh, before we go on any further please like share and the comment on the video i have opened a new telegram channel the link office has been given in the description box below and uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel please click the subscribe button the first topic for today's video is what is happening in pi network before we answer this question let us go a bit into the history of cryptocurrency. The world's first cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, and it was introduced in the year 2008 after the subprime market crisis. In the world of Bitcoin, there is a concept of halving, and this halving occurs every four years. What exactly is halving then? Halving is the rate of mining will be reduced by half. In other words, the rate of mining will be reduced is called halving to understand the concept of halving let us see an example suppose if a man on 48 bitcoin per hour in 2008 so all things being equal after four years that is in the year 2012 after the even halving has occurred his rate of earning bitcoin will be reduced to 24 bitcoin further after four years in 2016 his rate of earning bitcoin will be reduced to 12 and in 2020 his bitcoin earning will be reduced to six so this is the concept of halving that means it is the reduction in the rate of mining or earning bitcoin per hour that is the concept of halving this concept of halving is also there in the Pi network. However, it is somewhat different from the Bitcoin. Let us see how is it different from Bitcoin. When we open the Pi network app, we will, de we will see this screen. In the screen, it is written that more than 8 million pioneers are engaged in mining Pi. As more people join, this number will increase to 10 million. Once it reaches 10 million, there will be hubbing in the Pi network. And how will it affect the Pi miner? Let us see. Suppose a person, as of today, he is earning 24 Pi per hour. Once the pioneer reaches this 10 million, his earning will be reduced to half. That is his earning will be reduced to 12 pi per hour. This is how halving will affect the pi miner. So it is better for us to earn more pi right now before the halving took place. Let's zoom on to the second topic for today. And the, that topic is what is KYC in pi network? Well, most of the people must be aware that KYC means know your customer. 
It is the process of submission of our identity document to the PI core team. And uh, why is it important? And uh, why KYC is being done? To ensure that there is no duplication of PI minor. Suppose if a person is having two phones and he is utilizing both the phone to bind the pipes. What happens is that once that person get KYC, he one of his phone will be rendered useless. So in order that every person get their share of pi, this KYC is important. The next topic is why should we KYC ourselves? This is a very important topic. Why? Number one reason is that we need to prove that we are unique. We are a unique person who is mining pi. We are a unique person who believe in the powers of pi. That is why we should get ourselves KYC. The second reason is that we, when we KYC ourselves, we will be able to spin and use pi. As we shall see in the latter part of video, there are persons who have KYC themselves and they have able been to spend or to transact by. This is very important reason why we should KYC ourselves. And the third reason is that we need to save or we need to keep our buy balance safe. That is why we need to KYC. The next topic for today's videos is what is the value of buy? right now right now we are in the second phase of pi network development and the value of pi is nothing is zero as the pi is not listed in any of the pi exchanges however there are person who have kyc themselves and the pitsmith is one of the person who have kyc themselves this is his post from facebook let us see what he has written in this post I personally bought honey from Beeman, Ken Kaisers, and I just recently bought some gourmet bread from Robert Broner. It was worth transferring 5 4. And uh, when we go down here, now the price of pie is negotiated amongst the members that are doing the deal, and it would range anywhere between $1 to $10 per pie. So, this is a very good news for us as only one lakh. Pi Pioneer have KYC themselves and uh, they have negotiated the price to $1 to $10. Imagine if 80 lakh people started using Pi, then the value of Pi will be very high. So keep believing in Pi and uh, keep mining Pi. The next topic for today's video is related to those persons who are new and uh, who wants to know how can they mine pi? The process is very simple. Just click the link given in the description box below. I have given a link in the description box below. Just click the link. It will take you to Google Play Store if you have an Android phone. And if you have an Apple iPhone, then it will take you to Apple App Store. After that, just install this app. This app. And once you have installed this app, you will be asked to verify yourself. There are two methods of verification in the Pi network. The first is through the phone number. The second is through the Facebook. Verify yourself with the Facebook because it is applied all over the world. While the phone verification works only in the USA and the UK. After verifying yourself with Facebook, you will be asked to write your user's name and then you will be asked to write your name your phone number etc after completing or after finishing the form this screen will open here just click this button here your pi will start binding a number will roll here when this start when this number start rolling you have your mining have begun after this you can switch uh, you can off the internet and uh, what you need to do is that come back after every 24 hour and click this button your mining will continue in the background so that's all that's very easy so 
If you have any query or comment, please give the feedback at the Telegram channel, which I have given in the description box below, or give your comment on the YouTube channel comment section. I'll be very happy to receive your, your comment. Well, that's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching this video till the end.